Recently I've been showing off this drone that I made using the Fant mod. Today I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to start off with the logic. People want to see the logic, might not necessarily want to know how to build the machine. So I'm going to show you the logic. First of all, you need four unit faces and they need one AND gate each. And this AND gate is important because this AND gate connects to the unit facer. Now the way that a unit facer works is it's the input color will tell it what to detect. Now I could run this off of many, many switches, but obviously that would mean I'd have to have a, a switch for each and every one of these unit faces so what we do instead is we run one switch to and gates so what we're going to do here this one's going to be planting so remember you got to color the logic that goes into the unit facer this one's going to be watering so it's going to be like that this one is going to be harvesting and this last one is going to be the block detection which will take the machine to a designated place which i'm going to put down as an example so this is the the block that it will detect and we want when there's nothing to be done we want the machine to basically look for this block and get in close to it as it can so that's basic setup there then what i do is i add an and gate and a nor gate to each unit facer. And this will mean that I can get both states of the unit facer. It means I can get it when it's triggering and when it's not triggering. So when it's on and when it's off. So on, off, on, off, on, off, on and off. Now one final thing, one final gate is the OR gate. And what the OR gate will do is basically let me go on or off on or off on or off on or off and that will mean that i can say do said action when gate is on or off basically and we need finally one and gate and this last and gate is going to be the one that triggers everything so with planting we'll take it from the and gate which basically is when it's on and watering is either on or off and the reason why we do that is because for example if i have empty soil i want it to plant before it waters so if i have broccoli for example and it's half grown because broccoli needs two waters it will plant any empty soil first and then it will water the broccoli i prioritize harvesting then planting then watering and when there's absolutely nothing to do we go to the block finder. So as I was saying, and into and, which means when the unit facer is on, you go here, and trigger when water is on or off, and trigger when harvesting is off. So that's your nor gate. And trigger when block gate is either on or off. I'm not fussed what the block gate status is because it means the planting will overrun. So let's see if that works. So what should happen is, it's apparently looking for soils, but there isn't any. If I put soil down, this AND gate should come on. So it does. So that would be activating our planter. So that works. So when we go to water, water, we take AND to AND when the water is on. Planting is off. Harvesting is off. Block gate, either or, not bothered. So what you'll see here is it looks for soil to plant, so we plant. And then it goes, okay, there's no more soil around, it needs water. So then we'll water this, and you'll see the water is now turned off. But so far, it plants, and it waters exactly what we want it to do. Harvesting, and to and, so when the harvesting is on, and watering is either on or off, and planting is either on or off, and block is either on or off. So we're taking it from the OR gate. I know it's a bit and. Now, why do I do this? I hear you cry. Basically, this is going to prioritize harvesting because I've got it if water is on or off and I've got it if planting is on or off. The reason why I do this is because imagine we're just trundling around, right? And we're going to have to use our imagination for a minute. But boom, 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 boom. These are all ready to harvest. If I had it so that it plant first, every time it harvested one, it'd want to plant one. 
So you wouldn't really get anywhere because it'd be like, oh, got a plan. Oh, got a plan. And then, of course, depending on how you got your water system set up, it might go, oh, harvest one. So I've got to plant one, and then I've got to water it. Ugh. And then you move on to your next one to harvest. You're going to take all day to do that. So what this does is it prioritizes harvesting over everything. So at the minute it'll go, okay, we'll harvest, we'll harvest, we'll harvest, we'll harvest. And then it'll go, ah, oh, we need to plant something. So then it'll go, we'll plant, we'll plant, we'll plant, we'll plant. And you saw just in between those two, you saw it kind of flickered across to the water. That'll do that. It'll do that sometimes, but it's okay because it will jump back to the right one. Now they're all planted. It wants water. So we go water, 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 water. And now the water is off. And this is where the block target comes in because obviously it can't harvest at the minute because there's nothing to harvest. So the block target. Now the block target is a little bit different because obviously what it's doing is it's looking for this. But what we actually want to do is reduce this to basically be as long as your vehicle is. Because this unit facer is going to look for this block. And when it's within a range of this block, it will stop. So what we're going to do is set this nice and close, being as we've got it on a piston, you'll see. Now you'll notice that this light is on, the NOR gate. So that's the one that we want to take. So take the NOR gate, and then same with everything else. When everything else is off so you take all the nor gates all of the nor gates boom and you'll notice that okay now it's looking for the block the machine is moving towards the block moves towards the block it detects a block boom and it stops it will stop within the range so that's what you do there and that's basically how you set it up now the one thing to remember is we need a unit facer and that unit facer would move our vehicle i'll show you over here i would do unit facer and gate and then however you want to move your vehicle for me it'd be a controller and then i'd do my bearing and my wheel and i'd go unit facer into and gate and gate into controller controller into bearing i would have that at 360 i would loop it okay what we need to do though is paint all of these and gates the color that we want them to do for example this and gate needs to be block this and gate needs to be harvest this and gate needs to be water and this and gate needs to be plant now all of those will be connected to this unit facer as you'll see this goes into here this goes into here this goes into here now, hopefully, when I break this, it's going to want to plant. So I'll try and move this sensor in range of this. So hopefully what I'll do is activate that, which will activate that, and you should see that wheel move around. So are we ready? So it's looking to plant. It's trying to move towards the plant. And bosh, that's that. Now, how I moved my arms. So as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing. With this AND gate that turns on, that's what I'll use to power my controller for example this one doesn't need anything because that's basically going to move this back to the block so if i run over here extendo so it's not doing anything it's still looking to plant okay we'll find the plant boom so now it's planted it's still trying to move to the water now so we'll water it and as you see the block target is activated so that wheel is still spinning around but now if we move the block target nice and close i'll slow this down so we can see so the block target will go in and it's getting closer and closer and closer and eventually it'll stop it will do this bounce back thing because obviously a controller will stop to its closest 360 so that's why it rolled back a little bit because the backwards 360 was closer than the forward 360. easy so these three controllers that we put up here they simply run off of these and gates so that'll control our water that'll control our planting and that'll control our harvest and then you can do all this magical fun stuff so for example one for planting one for harvesting so let's see what we can do with this then just to express a bit of movement let's get a vacuum pump let's get another vacuum pump i know this isn't exactly hanging on for dear life as such but this is literally just uh, to show you guys what i'm doing this one is to plant this one is to water but it would be if i could click it on this one is to water so we'll just color code them just so you guys understand which is which Okay, and then what we're going to do is, when planting is turned on, let's make it face the sky. So, when planting turns on, let's roll it back 180. But then when water turns on, 
let's just put it to 90 just so it's a little bit visually different okay so then you'll see this happen boom so now it wants to plant and as you can see it's trying to move to the planter and the plant and vacuum pump has got in position so if we plant boom you see and the planting one goes away and the watering one's moving into position and then when we water the water is all finished so that's going back out of the way as its neutral position was it's looking for the block target so it'll keep rolling until it finds the block target block target comes into range and the machine stops that is the basic logic of it all so now for anybody else who wants to know how i built the machine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to build this slightly different view guys because it's going to be needed to be seen so i'm going to build one set of logics at a time and then we're going to try and weld it together so hand gate unit facer two gates and then we want an or gate let's go this way for the or gate and then we want an and gate okay so nor or and and this is going to be planting this needs to be painted to activate this unit facer this unit facer needs to go into both of these gates so that we get the on state and the off state they both then need to go to the or gate and then finally this and is when the machine is activated and to activate it it's this and gate so the one that comes directly from the unit facer so we plug that in boom and now what we can do the power of creative is save it on the lift and then rebuild it okay but we need to change the colors if we do the same colors it's all going to go wrong so this is watering okay so it's the same setup so the and gate first into the unit facer the unit facer into the and gate the unit facer into the nor gate the and gate and the nor gate into the or gate and the and gate into the and gate at the back two more of them because we want one for harvesting and we want one more for a block target now obviously you guys can build this how you like that's why i've just done it like this this is my preference but remember you need to have all of this logic for each individual one or at least that's how I found it anyway. Now what I'm going to do is cheat a little bit. I'm going to weld all these up together because we can do that luckily on creative. But I'm also, before I do the final one, I'm going to sneak a little summit summit in here. So this is going to be for our movement. So remember our movement, this unit facer, this yellow standard unit facer here is going to be the one that's going to be doing all of the controlling of what happens. So everything that we're going to paint black is going to be in charge of movement so that's that middle set there we'll grab these last two pieces boom and now we've got the fun of trying to set them all up at the back okay we've got all these wired up so we now need to cross wire it so what we're saying is when planting is on and watering we're going to take from this or gate so it's these are the or gates here or gate here so planting is on water is either on or off block target on or off but we want the harvesting to be we want the harvesting to be off so that's that one boom so when the watering is on that's all connected up planting needs to be off boom harvesting needs to be off and block target can be on or off When harvesting is on, block target can be in either state. Watering can be in either state. And planting can be in either state. And then finally, if you remember, our block target has to be nice and small. And we've got to take it from the opposite one. So that's where this is going to be a little bit screwy from what I've printed off. So we've got to disconnect the and and connect in the nor and then we're going to take the nors from everything else and click them into the final and gate and one last thing we need to do we need to paint these guys the colors of their required function because they all then get connected in to that unit facer at the front 
so that it knows what it's doing. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to put in our controllers. We just run some block in here. So when planting is on, activate this. When water is on, activate this. And when harvesting is on, activate this. Now I get my bearings and get my wheels so that we've got something to do. And now I know what you're saying, you're like, but how do we turn? So turning, this is where this gyroscope comes into play. So you get your gyroscope and you throw your gyroscope down. I'm going to use two casual little two by twos. Now, most people, this is where I differ. Most people will go from this unit facer into your gyroscope and let it go rock and roll and wild. I personally have had much better results if I use the unit facer hub. So why do I do this is quite simply take the unit facer into the unit facer hub, both sides. Turn one of these to left, turn the other to right. This is going to have a little bit more control over the turning. Plug both of these into your gyro. So the gyro has two inputs. Now it is important that you paint one of these inputs. I don't know which one it's going to be. So we're going to find out. I also need to put a switch on this. And connect up the very first AND gates. Now if I turn this on. It's going to look for the block target because there's nothing else in range. So this should help me. There you go. Work out which way it wants to go. And obviously, it's not going to move anywhere because the controller for movement isn't actually connected up. But if I got these the wrong way around, you see it will want to go. See how it's trying to go to the left. It's trying to pin that way, even though it knows it needs to go the other way. So take that one off, put that one on. Connect our movement controller, which is this middle one, up to our wheels. Make sure the bearings are rotating the right way. Yep, that one's going to move forwards. That one's not. So we'll return that one. Go into our controller and go 360 and loop. Turn it on before we get off the lift. So it's going for the block target. Lower it down. Boom. And there you go. See how it just wiggles its butt a little bit at the back? It's just because of weight and the fact that we don't have any wheels on the back. And it could also be because the gyros are pretty high for the weight that there is. So what I mean by that is gyros by default are at 25. So I'm just going to keep them there. So we give ourselves some rear wheels. We're going to see if that makes any difference. Turn it on. Take it off the lift. Yeah, there you go. So now it's got a little bit more grip at the back. It's not just shaking around and wobbling around. It's currently on block target. A block target was... I can't remember what. wasn't much. But that'll keep rolling until the block target sensor... There you go. Picks up. And it bounces backwards and forwards until the controller's happy. And as you see, it's stopped. Now what happens is... Say... Oh no! We need to plant something. Going to rock and roll over here to plant something it's taking its time you can up that controller for sure make it a bit quicker if you really want to but sometimes you're better off at a slower pace so you see how it kind of twisted to the side and now it's spinning around this plant because it's on a harvest priority so if i harvest this it moves on to the next one and that's what i'm saying and now it's looking to plant it'll plant only when everything is finished harvesting which is helpful and it's still looking for this soil and it'll drive over. Do, 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 do. Boom. And then it starts to look for water. Okay, so let's get these vacuum pumps sorted. Now, it's important that with a machine like this, you have sort of balance. And everything is the same, is the easiest way to put it. So anything you do to one side, you sort of need to do to the other. Now, when it comes to vacuum pumps, this unit face that's behind the switch, this guy, okay, he ideally, for best results, wants to be in the middle of the vacuum pump. So what do I mean by that is a vacuum pump actually is three squares. So whether you have it that way or whether you have it that way, I really don't mind. I don't care. It's your build. But make sure the unit facer is in line with that one. So you see it's this one. It's the middle. That will make your vacuum pump triggering way, way, way more precise. Otherwise, you've got to do some really fancy angles and stuff can get really, really annoying. So how do we set this up? Okay, well... We're going to take this side for planting 
and this side for watering. And this is where things are going to get slightly confusing because you kind of got to work in different dimensions. Because like I say, when this is finished, whatever I do here, I basically want it to end up like here, really. So that the vacuum pump that we put on whoop, is right in front of this. So what does that mean? It means looking at how I built this, these gates are going to be an issue. So straight the way. I need to go up and then I need to come maybe something like this. Let me just see how that goes. I'll put bear in there and I'll grab this. I'll put it here. Okay, so this is on the watering one. So we'll get this to go to the block target. And then what we'll do is we'll just connect a switch direct to this controller this controller to those two bearings there we go so when we turn it on which you can't do because it's connected to the and gate so when we turn this on we're going to need to see what happens so number one let's go to 180 see where that gets us perfectly the right place and then number two we need to go to 90 so if i go number two to 90 that should paint downwards Perfect. And it is in line with this. Now, when it comes to getting your water in, it doesn't matter how you do it, whether you do it from a chest or whether you do it from these teleporter pumps. But water in, you want the grow sensor, which is what we've got here in our hand. And we're going to set this grow sensor on the very top. You see how it says grow? Change that to water. Grab that. Plug it into the vacuum pump. So then that's going to look for water. Just fill this up with water and then hopefully I can show you guys if that works. So what we've got to do is turn this off. Whoop. It's a little bit heavy. It comes the wrong way if you like. So let me just see what happens with that again. It's going to run off to the block. That's fine. So what we might actually do, because it does both the turners at the same time, we're going to get it to do the 90 first and then the 180. So they'll look a little bit like this. The 90 first. Then the 180. So there's not so much weight hanging over here. But there's still weight. Look, you see how it lifted up the back end? This is why you kind of got to keep an eye on your builds and your weights and stuff just because you might need to add a few heavy blocks in here or there just to keep it all weighed down so what we're going to do is we're going to turn the switch off we're going to disconnect the switch we're then going to reconnect the and gate into that because we're using water hopefully we'll show you so we've got a plant ready to water we'll take this down Woo! it's a little bit crazy right so what we're going to do here is gyros it's always good that I show you this stuff going wrong so that you guys can sort of see what happens. Into my gyro. I'm going to turn it down. Eight might be a little bit too soft, but we'll find out. So hopefully it should be a little less violent. But don't forget, there's a lot of weight there as well. So there we go. I managed to water it. Okay, so what we're going to do is punch one of these out. Come into plant. Has no planter. We'll put up the water. The watering device activates, comes up, swings into position. And this sensor will pick up this field and then it will drop some water. Boom. Now, one thing worth noting, this switch at the front, so this switch can sometimes get turned off by water. So what we're going to do is remove it, put it a little bit out of the way of the water, Reconnect it to all of those AND gates at the front. Bada bing, bada boom. So remember, what you do to one side, in the interest of balance, you also want to do to the other side if you're building something like this. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So this is going to be for planting. It's going to be exactly the same thing. And we'll just load this up with some plants. So it's got some seeds in it. We've got some tomato seeds. Whack a load in. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, these teleport pipes, they work based on colours. Again, so just run this this way. So this is an in. And this is an out. So obviously we need two outs because we want water and we want plants. I'm just going to paint them in a way that I remember. This is plants. 
This is water. Use the same colours. It's just a lot easier. Water. Plants. Get ourselves a chest. Connect the chest in. And then you need a switch on the out pump. So switch. Out pump. So this is for seeds. On the green side. This is water. So we'll just fill this up with water. And then we'll turn it on. So that should be pumping to the relevant colours. So if I go over to this one. And take out a set of seeds. And we'll turn it on. Take it off the leaf. Sometimes you do get this. And it can be literally because this needs to go on. Sometimes it can matter which order you place it on. So we'll paint it green. Connect it up. Hopefully. Yeah, see, there you go. You see it taking all of the seeds out of there. So if we go into here, this is now full. Boom. Keeps on bringing seeds in. Awesome. So we've now got seeds and we've now got water. I need to connect that planting controller to those bearings and what we did was this bearing first and then that bearing so it was this bearing first and then that bearing so now what we've got to do is work out where this is going to sit in because what we need to do is set up how to trigger the seeds now the seeds are a little bit different because we need it to be more accurate get rid of this switch i'm just gonna again we're gonna manually set this up so that we've got a little bit of control over it it won't be much but it'll be a little bit turn it on so it's looking for block target so just currently swinging up and swinging in position okay so boom this side this side here is where we want to put our sensors what i have found is having three grow sensors this way and one in the middle gives me the best chance of hitting the soil right so now we need to set them to read need plant so hopefully all three of them now read need plant and this is perfect because what we can do is show you we'll just disconnect the switch plug the and gate back into the controller now hopefully it's going to look to go and plant this and then water it turn it on take it off the lift so it's looking to plant oh what we didn't do though is connect the and gate up to the vacuum pump and i still missed it and gate to the vacuum pump so we know that it's looking to plant because thankfully that's been now activated by the and gate into that controller so it's going to cruise on over and when it gets to the soil it's going to plant and then it goes okay well it needs water so i better swap out my things don't worry about it kind of going backwards and forwards it's just trying to turn now but as we're getting more weight on it don't forget those gyros are only set to eight we could turn them up a bit Go to 10. Is it a little bit more power? Give it a little bit more of a precise turn. And the water hopefully doesn't matter if it splashes now because it should cover a little bit more of an area. You see that it catches that crop. And now it's going to drive all the way back to the block target. And when it's within range of the block target, it'll stop. I'm not going to show you how to do the harvest one. You guys know how to do the harvest one because it's exactly the same as this. For me, the harvest one runs down the middle. It's off of the harvest controller, which is this guy because it's set up in line. So it's easy to tell. And then you just tweak it as you see fit. Harvesting, treat it exactly like water. You only need one sensor on harvesting. The planting is where you need most for the accuracy. We'll show you. It is worth noting that this machine does not have any avoidance so as you'll see it's just going to cause itself a problem by rubbing up against the wall it cannot avoid it it's only there to plant in open spaces but plant it will see it sometimes triggers like it's going to want to water but it always comes back to planting that's fine watering will then come up and out and the machine will spin where it needs to spin again you can see the tighter circles Sometimes you might want to up your gyros again. We're currently on 10. Everything's all gravy. And it's doing all right. Watering. Happy. 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 And happy. And then there's nothing else left. And it will wind out. And it will go back in. I hope that helpful for you guys. Let me know in the comments if you need any more help. But yeah. Using the Fant mod, you can build this. Real nice and easy. As I said, I'm not going to show you how to do the harvesting bit. You can work it out by now. I've shown you everything you need to know how to do it. Hope you enjoy. Take it easy. See you next time. Bye, guys.